Okay, set to go now for Formula 3. Big field in Formula 3. Dave Oliver taking it out earlier and already. Hole shots it down to turn number one on the VDB Aprilia. Second place in there, Ethan Olden, Anthony Carroll by the looks of it. And then that would be Clint Clark, I think, on the little 125. He's been uh, pretty well dominating and Mark Lucky Gordon right up the front end of the field this time out there as well. He's always improving. They head their way down. Oh, a couple of riders very close to off there, but seem to just hang on to it as they head their way down through Siberia now. And it's still Dave Oliver just killing it out there at the moment. Looks like Clint Clark now on the little 125 GP has moved up into second place now as they go through Cops and then down into the fast section. Only seen Clint uh, riding this season. I tell you what, he's uh, always improving. Very, very quick on the little 125. URS Honda, and uh, he's been going very well indeed. So good to see him riding amongst it all. Don't know if you ever go about catching Dave Oliver. You know, like he's uh, Dave Oliver's on a good day. Obviously, he's got the. Uh, the VDB motor back into it now after a, uh, a couple of testing times for him over the last few race meetings, a couple of supermoto meetings. He had to borrow a bike from Rising Sun, uh, I should say, uh, Future Sport Motorcycles. A big supporter of Dave, and uh, it's great to see him back out on the VDB. So Clint Clark goes through. Ethan Olden, Anthony Carroll, Lee Holmes. Mark Gordon up into sixth place. Oh, yeah. Go the big fella. Riding for uh, mixed bikes and car tyres and PM lubricants. PM lubricants has been around for quite a quite a few years, and it's great to see them supporting Lucky. They used to have the PM series many many years ago. Looks like Taylor's running into a uh, couple of mechanical problems with the Morawaki. It's just not sounding right going under the bridge, popping and crackling, and not sounding quite right there. Sounds like it's only running on one cylinder. <laughs> Joking. It's only got one cylinder, right? <laughs> so, back around through the left-hander at seven and down in the cops. Race leaders charge down to Kangaroo Corner. Onto the Pirelli front straight away. Dave Oliver just carrying the wheel halfway down the front straight. Very nice power stand. Second place, Clint Clark, and then Ethan Olden. I did set know the feeling there. I was out, did a track day on a PSXR thousand here a couple of weeks back, and the power of those things to come onto the front straight away is very hard to keep the front wheel on the ground as you come up over the little lip out of the chicane. So uh, yeah, I know that feeling. Anthony Carroll goes through. He's up in the fourth place at the moment. Some great little dices going and amongst it in there. Kenny Crouchick, Kieran McGowan and David Wright. Three of them all together. Very, very close indeed. Smashing dice out there they've got going. The rest of the riders pretty well spread out around the place at the moment. Taylor Ralph just cruising at the moment. She's a bit down in the, the pack, but I think she's doing the right thing by staying out there because every little point will help. 24th, that'll give her one point at this stage. And um, she's well and truly up there in the, uh, the championship points at the moment. So just to uh, gather anything in this one will be good for her. Dave Oliver comes around and fires off another lap. 25.25 his quickest time so far. Once again up on the back wheel. He's enjoying himself, the old boy. Of course, a very uh, competent Speedway sidecar. A few championships under the belt in Speedway. And 
since I've met him on the road racing circuit, he's just improved and improved and improved. And once he stepped onto the VDB Aprilia, it's uh, just no looking back for him. It's them going through. Paul Dawson obviously getting that uh, bike of his uh, fixed up. Oh no, he's riding something different, yeah, he's got the 650 happening this time. So uh, he's uh, going alright after his off earlier on. So just having a look at the position, still Dave Oliver out there in the lead, Clint Clark back there in second place. Third place Ethan Olden, Anthony Carroll, Lee Hughes, Simon Dixon there in sixth, Paul Dawson there in seventh, eighth place is Mark Lucky Gordon, and then ninth place in there is Dave Wright and Kenny Croucher rounding out the top ten on his little uh, RS125 GP bike also. So lap starting to kick down, about four to go now, half race distance now for Formula 3. rest of the riders head their way down the front straight away now charging through Clint Clark Clint Clark has blown it oh gee whiz how lucky was everyone to get around him there something's happened with the 125 and the three behind him just swamped him either side he was just so lucky he held his position and everyone else gets around him so a bit of bad luck there for Clint he was running right up in there with the championship points let's uh, hope he can just keep some hope alive there Michael Carlson goes through <laughs> got a rider down in turn one and that might be Dave Wright So he's obviously okay, left the bike where it is. The rest of them now start to charge through Dave Oliver. Up the front straight away. Oh, Kirsten, Kirsten, if you can hear me down there, you better check the fork seals when he comes in, eh? Just double check the fork seals on Dave's bike when he comes in. So, second place now, Anthony Carroll, Ethan Olden down to third place, Lee Holmes up into fourth. So, it was David Wright, that fallen rider down there. So, hopefully he's okay. Kenny Croucher fires it underneath the bridge. So, he's still in a comfortable tenth place at the moment. Gary Dixon just in there behind him having a fantastic race with James Parker at the moment. Those two have been swapping it around. Sarah Fairbrother, boy she's improved over the last couple of meetings. Uh, 132.69 for her this time out. Great to see her charging through. She's riding one of the, uh, the Milwaukee 250s also. I'm just hoping that Taylor yeah, she's still out there, 23rd, no, she's moved up to 21st, so that's got to be at least two points for her under the, in the bag. Dave Oliver comes around, just puts a lap on her as he heads his way underneath the bridge. And a long, long way back to Anthony Carroll, Clint Clark, he's pulled it up just outside the pit there. So a bit of bad luck there for him, he won't be able to finish this one. So Anthony Carroll now second place, Ethan Olden third. Lee Holmes there in fourth place on the Kawasaki. And the 21 bike fires through. That's Paul Dawson. Holds on to fifth place, Simon Dixon sixth, James Irvine seventh, Kieran McGowan eighth. Uh, Lucky Gordon ninth and Kenny Croucher in there in 10th place. And still that battle, Gary Dixon and James Parker.
fantastic stuff there. Sarah Bar Fairbrother has broken away from uh, the number four bike of Mick Train. And she just goes 33-7 uh, that time. So next time around they uh, should be presented the, uh, the last lap board. As Dave Oliver comes through there now, one lap remaining in Formula 3. Dave Oliver just having a ball out there at the moment. Got a uh, commanding lead. Having a, uh, a good old time out there on the Aprilia. Taylor still charging around out there. Not a best result, but obviously some sort of mechanical problem going on with the, uh, the Murawaki at the stage. Rest of the field underneath the bridge now. Anthony Carroll still holding on to second place. Ethan Alden third there now. Mark Gordon travelling very well in a 1 minute 33 nine. I think that's about the quickest he's gone today. So just waiting for uh, Dave Oliver now. And checker flag goes out. Another fine win there for Dave. So he comes around underneath the bridge. Okay, now second place just coming through. Anthony Carroll takes out second place. A good finish there for him, finishing fourth in the first heat. Ethan.